Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to solve a question of fleet code that is binary tree in order traversal. So let's start with the problem statement. Given the root of a binary tree written the in order traversal of its nodes value. So basically in this question we have given a binary tree and we need to find out the in order traversal of this binary tree. This question seems easy because we have solved this question multiple times through traditional approaches of DFS and DFS. But in this video, we will be discussing the most optimized approach that is the Morris traversal approach, which will reduce our space complexity from big O of n to big O of 1. Right, so let's quickly see how can we approach this problem through Morris traversal. So let's say we have given this example, and in this example, we need to find out the in order traversal of this tree. Right. So what is the in order traversal? So in the in order traversal, first we take the left part, then we take the root, and then we take the right part. Right. So if we find out the in order traversal of this tree, so we will just go to the left part. Then again we go to the left part. So we will get three. Then we move back to root. This is two. Let's write two here. Then again we move to the right part. So we will get four. Then we move back to 1, we will get 1 here and we will move to the right part, we will get 5 and then we will get 6. Right. So this is the in order traversal of this binary tree. Right. So if we find out this through the traditional approaches of BFS or DFS, so this will be taking the time complexity of around big O of n. And the space complexity would go up to big O of n. Right. So in this video, we will be discussing our approach that is a Morris traversal approach. In this approach, we will be just reducing our space complexity from big O of n to big O of 1 that is a constant space. Right. So let's quickly see how can we approach this question through Morris traversal. Right. So let's think about this. If we just try to convert our binary tree from this binary tree to this binary tree sum of right so let's draw the binary tree of this in order traversal so the binary tree for this in order traversal would be something like first we will get 3 then we have 2 then we have 4 then we have 1 then we have 5 and then we have 6 Right. And all these pointers are the right pointers and the left pointers are null. Right. So if we somehow get this binary tree, then we can easily find out the in order traversal of this binary tree. Right. And we are not using any extra space here because we are just using these pointers. Right. This is the null pointer and this also a null pointer. Right. Because for the leaf node, we have both the left and the right pointer as null. So we can use those pointers by not pointing to null. We will be pointing these pointers to the other nodes. Right. Let's say for this 4, we are pointing to 1. So we will point this 4 to 1. Right. So let's see how can we point these pointers and easily get this tree right so let's see so let's say we have initially given this binary tree and root is here right root is here now if you carefully observe we have root as one right this is root initially and the previous one is four right this is four so we need to point this four to one Right, so where is this 4? 4 is on the left side. Right, so we will just move to the left side. We are just coming to the left side and this we can consider this as the previous because the 4 is the previous one of the root that is 1. Awesome. So let's say for this previous one, right, for this previous one, we need to point this 4 to 1. So what is this 4? 4 is the rightmost pointer to this previous or we can say the root left so what we can say is we will be going to the rightmost part of this root left right this is the root left and we are just going to the rightmost part so we are just pointing this rightmost part to this root right after pointing this we will just remove this link right we will just remove this link from here this link will be removed 
and the new linked will be formed from 4 to 1 right this 4 right will be pointing to 1 now right and we will just update our root to 2 right this root will be updated now to 2 right the similar thing we are again performing to this 3 right so let's say we move to the left part and point this previous here we find the rightmost one so we do not have anything on the right side so we will be just finding out the right one we don't not have anything on the right so we will just point this to this root right so after pointing this to root we will get a new link and this link will be removed from here and after removing this link we will get a link from 3 to 2 then 2 to 4 and this root will be updated to this one right now you can care easily observe this the root is here right and the whole links are from 3 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 1 1 to 5 and 5 to 6 and this is similar to the in order traversal right this is similar to the in order traversal so we have got our this resultant tree or the desired tree which we want to create or update right so this is only the morris order traversal and i hope this approach is clear to you we will again try to understand this approach during the coding part and yeah let's move to the coding part if you still have any doubt in this approach feel free to comment it down i will try to explain it again so let's move to the coding part awesome so let's create a vector of integers here which will be storing the in order traversal now let's run a while loop until our root is not empty now let's understand the morris traversal through code right so let me first clear this and let's say initially we have a root pointing here right so what are the two conditions we have seen till now the first condition is we need to go to the left part right we need to go to the left part if there is a left part right and if there is no left part let's say if the root is here and we do not have any left part right we do not have any left part so we will directly go to the right part right we will directly go to the right part and we will take this value from here else if there is a left part we will do some operation like pointing this 4 to 1 then again running the loop right these are the some operation we will do right so the two conditions we got till now first is if we have the left then we need to perform the operation if we do not have any left part so then we will move to the right one and store the current root value in the answer vector right so let's first write both the conditions in our code right so what are these conditions the first condition is if there is a root left right and there is one more else part if there is no root left then we will directly move forward so first write the code for the root left part right so what are the steps we followed here when there is a root left then what we did we first pointed this root left with the previous one right let's write the same here let's point a tree node previous with root left right now we need to find out the rightmost right we need to find the rightmost node because this rightmost node will be pointing to the current root right so for this let's run a while loop until root right is not null and we will just update our not this would be the previous one because this is the previous one and this previous will go to the rightmost one right so Let's run the while loop until previous write is not null and let's update our previous with previous write. Right, so this previous will be pointing to the rightmost node. Now let's update or we can say point this previous write to root. Right, now we have pointed this previous write to root. Now the next step we need to do is we need to remove this link Right, we need to remove this link and point this root to this one 
right so this root will be now pointing to root left right and this link will be removed now let's write the same code here let's first take a tree node of a temporary one and this temporary will be storing the root because we are updating the root right we are just updating this root to root left and this root will root left will be now pointing to null right we are just pointing this we are just removing this link it means this will be now pointing to null right so let's write it here this root will be now updated to root left and this temporary left that was the root earlier so this will be now pointing to null right i hope this is clear to you and this will create a new link here and at the end we will get this tree somehow right now the next step is we have just linked this tree now the next step is we need to store the values in this answer whenever we do not have the left one it means this is fine we will just store the values in the answer vector and move forward so let's do the same thing here else we will store this value into a answer vector so answer dot push back root value and let's move forward so root right and this root will be updated to root right and at the end return answer vector from here all right let's try to run this on the sample test cases yeah it's running fine let's assume this yeah it's working fine so let's discuss the time and space complexity of our solution so the time complexity of our solution is big o of n because we are traversing through all the n elements and the space complexity is big o of 1 because we are not using any extra space here that is why the space complexity is constant all right so that is it for this video i hope you understood the approach and the solution if you still have any doubt in this problem feel free to comment it down please like this video and subscribe to this channel i will see you in the next video